Hey Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading for the 4th to the 11th of April. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new here, hey, hi, how's it going? If you're returning, a massive thank you to you. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on for you this week. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're going to do this at the bottom of the deck. And eight. One minute, please, while I pull out the rest of your cards. <laughs> I'm laughing because when some of you Scorpios to see this, you're also gonna laugh. You're gonna be like, oh, that's why she was hysterically laughing. bottom of the deck we got you here with Aries, Aries, Nimu. We got Saturn here teaching you a lesson. <laughs> and what is this lesson you say? Look, I don't know why, I don't know, were some of you listening to that song? Somebody come get her, she's dancing like a stripper. You know that song? Somebody come get her. I think it was like a TikTok thing for a while. I don't know why. Anyways, I just heard that in my head. Um, I don't think that's the lesson, to be honest. And like, no hate if that's your job. I don't care. You do you. I am always a firm believer in like, let live and let live. Um, I'm telling you, Scorpio. Sometimes when I read for you, I'm always like, man, what the fuck are Scorpio? Like, what are you doing, you know? I don't know. Like, can we sit down for a minute and have a serious conversation? What the fuck are you doing? <sighs> There's somebody here that wants to offer you something. A connection, a relationship, a union. And your house is like, no. And like, fine, that's fine. You don't want it, that's fine. But I don't think that's that you don't want it. And I feel like we've had this conversation for a while. I don't know, maybe I'm going kooky. Surrender, I release, I need to control. I think you're playing hard to get. Like, you're here showing up as the empress, okay? You're looking out into the horizon. You're looking at like your future, your abundance, your money, your life, everything that you desire in life. And then you have your back face to this offer. <laughs> I don't get it right i don't get it because i feel like you've been manifesting it too so there's a party that's been manifesting it but then there's also this other part of you that's like nah i don't mind it <laughs> and like it's not even that you don't want it it's that you just want to play hard to get <laughs> but i think that this offers part of i think it's honestly i think this feels like a soulmate or like destined like and karmically like you you all are connected some way somehow okay um with this judgment card mm -hmm. yeah two of cups in the judgment yeah it just feels like This guy's like, hey, hi, how? And I'm just saying a guy because it's the masculine to me that's calling me out here. And you're like, you're going to have to prove it to me some more. You're going to have to prove it to me some more. How many mores can this guy prove to you? Okay. The other thing I want to say too is like, he's he or she is, they're, they're trying. They're showing up as the king of wands with the knight of cups. Okay. They're trying. They are trying so damn hard. <laughs> This guy's jumping like you're like now flowers now buy me a chanel first now do this now take me on a day now, like and i get it like i get it i feel like you're doing this because you want to make sure that this person is like legit and for real you know and i feel like you're doing this with this person because you want to make sure that you're not committing to something where they're going to play games with you so it could be a method of self-preservation but also i think that saturn's going to teach you a lesson here like don't lose something because you need to control all aspects of it right 
Don't, don't, don't do like errors in this case. Be passionate about it, okay? Surrender the need to control to the situation. Because I feel like the reason why you're playing hard to get or the reason why you're like shutting yourself off from this person has everything to do with the fact that you don't want to be vulnerable. So you're like, if I make them work hard, they're going to run away from me. <laughs> like... Brady Bunch, why did that not come in my head? Oh my God, I'm just aging myself now. And then the magician, look, you want this person, if this person treats you good, if you feel good when you're around this person, go get him or her. Work through it, okay? Talk to them, be vulnerable, share your experiences, okay? I'm nervous, it's really hurting me. Um, but don't make them keep working for it, for the love of God, okay? <laughs> like, you know, if you want it, we'll take it. Accept it. Embrace it. We're going to get into your love reading now. We're going to get to see what's uh, what's going on. Um, the other thing I'm seeing here, too, is an opportunity for you to move for some of you. Okay, there is this opportunity for you to move either because of a career change or the universe shifting something for you here. Um, but there could very well be this opportunity for you to travel and move to a new country, new state, province, whatever it is, depending wherever you are. All right. Um, if you like using crystals for manifestation or to align with the readings, if you like to use amulets, I create modern day amulets right here. I design them all and myself and my assistant make them here in the office. All right, the pieces that I would recommend for you would be something like Venus. Am I wearing my Venus? No, I'm not. Venus, which is Morganite Barrel and Rose Quartz. And then the other piece that I would recommend to you too would be, um, where is it? Oh, right here. Victoria, which is Moonstone and Rose Quartz. Okay. Um, and it's literally named after the goddess of victory okay and then for others of you if you've been feeling like really suffering in the heart okay or feeling a lot of pain in the heart or feeling like you can't be vulnerable sana sana is spanish for healing s-a-n-a -A, and it's morganite barrel green aventurine and rose quartz then there's also some necklaces and stuff too you can shop in the description box below all right somebody come get her <laughs> what is that song all right, let's see what's going on for you in love. Oh yes, and for those of you, while I'm shuffling and pulling out your love reading, for those of you that have been wanting to become professional tarot readers, take a look at the description box below. Every couple of months, I teach a live and interactive two-day tarot intensive course. The um, enrollment is open for the next one that's happening either end of May or beginning of June. So come join me, come learn how to read tarot, come become a professional tarot reader. I teach you how to become successful on social media as well and tapping into your psychic abilities and everything else in between, okay? We work together live on zoom for two days it's a weekend all right let your friends help you retreat and finances and career mm -hmm. so shopping and enrollment can all be done in the description box below all right so let your friends help you what is this queen of pentacles yeah you're feeling yourself like you look very good you know what i almost feel like i feel like you've worked really hard at loving yourself and owning who you are and owning your power and owning how beautiful you are that you're a little bit afraid now to um to open yourself up to love because you don't want somebody to take advantage of you but i think that this person like i honestly get this feeling this person is going to worship the ground that you walk on um scorpio so i don't think that there's anything here to be too too like panicky about if that makes sense and then retreat the six of wands yeah you know what if they're offering you a trip okay if they're saying come 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 away with me come away um yeah like uh, offering you to travel a weekend getaway something like that i would accept it because i think that going would help you to see if it's the right fit for you or not also you may be doing a lot of hanky panky and you turn yourself around that's what it's all about all right, and what is this finances and career? The wheel and what? And the eight of swords was reversed. The wheel, okay. Oh, you. Some of you may be worried that like the money situation might not be right with them, or that like you make more money than them, or that your financial values aren't in alignment. I think that this is a great opportunity for both of you to talk. I do feel like you're very financially stable, Scorpio. I also feel like you take care of your abundance, your money. Like you're very focused on you, okay, and making sure you got your life together. But this is a lesson here. I think this is a lesson about opening up your heart. Yeah listen to your heart all right i keep i feel like you're big onto music too because i keep hearing songs in my head okay somebody who's like constantly listening to apple music or spotify or whatever all right okay scorpio that's what i got for you okay accept the offer if you want to and uh, don't say no if you want to but say no if you don't want to but this is like stop playing so hard to get here surrender 
embrace, go have fun for a little bit, see what happens, all right? Um, live in the present moment. If you want to shop at Starseed Jewels or enroll in the Tarot Intensive, take a look at the description box below. Thank you so much for all your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.